five-year-old, <laughs> gorgeous little girl with um, mitochondrial disorder complex one. Well, mitochondrial diseases are a group of disorders that affect conversion of food into energy. So if you have mitochondrial disease, you can't burn sugars, fats and proteins into chemical energy for all the cells in your body to work. The mitochondrial disorder is in the muscles, so, but not in the bones, so she'll keep growing this way. But um, over a period of time, she'll need a wheelchair or something because she won't, her muscles won't be able to sustain her, her frame. Mitochondrial disorders can be caused by over a hundred different genes inherited in different ways, all affecting the central energy generating pathway of the cell, which is called oxidative phosphorylation. One time we thought that we'd have to um, put a plug in her, in her stomach and just uh, put food in, in that way because she just wasn't growing. So because she wasn't growing and wasn't thriving, the danger was that she would have just burnt out and, and um, you know, not been with us. We don't have any truly effective treatments. We can, we can treat some symptoms, but we can't cure mitochondrial diseases. So clearly there's a big concern about what happens in the future for their child. Yes. What you can see in 60 metres, she can see in one metre. Yeah. Um, the other eye is three and 12. So what you see in 12, she can see in three. And that'll slow, it's irreversible. So it'll slowly disintegrate and she'll go blind. There are so many different types that there's no gold standard test. So we don't have a, a simple blood or urine test. And in general, um, children have to undergo a muscle biopsy under a general anaesthetic. How are you feeling? How's the hand? Well, what we're aiming to do is, is to be able to do this testing on a blood sample. Can you, can you push your hands against me? Our dream for Miranda would be finding a, finding a cure, getting a solution for that chemical chain that's um, broken and you know, feel, fixing those blocks so she can actually um, function normally. What would I say to the people today? I would say, <laughs> uh, give till it hurts. Uh, it's causes that you don't see that aren't top of mind, that um, still need a lot of support and help.